Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at a car application that we're going to be working on uh, throughout the next couple of tutorials. And in it, we're going to talk about uh, inheritance, uh, mostly inheritance, and some other stuff that I wanted to teach you guys. So let's go ahead and create a new project, and it's what we'll use to make the application. So we will select a Windows Forms application and we will just call it car application and we'll just go ahead and click OK and wait for that to load now let's come over here to our solution explorer we'll wait for it to finish loading okay so we'll right click car application and we will add a class so we'll shrink this down a bit and we will name our class uh, let's just call it all cars okay so let's go ahead and get rid of this right here and now what we need to do is we're going to create a namespace that is going to hold all of our car classes so namespace all cars and then we'll go ahead and end that namespace. Now we're going to have a bunch of classes in here that do what's called inherit from each other. And now basically what this means is that um, the stuff you use in one class can be used in a lower class. So let's say you have an animal class. Uh, a dog class would inherit certain attributes from the animal class that is true for all animals. So let's just create a car class right here so we'll just go ahead and um, start out by creating a class so we will type class car okay so now what we're going to do is we are going to add a um, a variable in there that will get the color of the car so we'll type public um, color as string now here let's zoom in here a bit so you guys can see it a little bit better okay so now that we have the color in there let's go ahead and add some other stuff that all cars will have so cars will have a speed so we'll make private int speed as integer so this is the speed of our car and we're making it private so that anybody outside this class can't directly access int speed and change it without using the um, accelerate uh, function that we're going to be creating. So now let's make a property that will let the um, let any other class get the speed of the car. So we'll type public read only property, and we're just going to go ahead and name this one speed. So speed as integer. And we'll go ahead and press enter, and you can see that gives us an, a get and an end get and what we want to do is we just want to return the speed so we will type return int speed so now anybody outside this class can call speed and it will send them back there the speed of the car now let's create a um, a function that will let them let somebody accelerate the car or we'll make it a method so public sub and subs are also referred to as methods because they don't return a value so we'll just call it accelerate and for the arguments we're gonna have them send uh, an integer so by val accelerate by as integer okay so whenever they accelerate we're just going to add that to int speed so int speed plus equals accelerate by okay so now that we've created some stuff that we can use uh, inside of our uh, car class let's go ahead and make an object of this car class over here so we'll double click on form one and we will zoom in okay so let's just make a default car because we're going to be add some function functionality that will let you create multiple cars so private default car as new 
and then we're going to type our namespace. So all cars, that's new, all cars dot car. So now that we've created an object of cars, let's go ahead and set the color. So default car dot color equals, let's just do red. And we'll go ahead and show that in a message box. So message box default car dot color. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. And you can see that it shows us red. Now this is to be expected. So go ahead and if you haven't put this code in already, I would suggest doing that because we're going to be using this code a lot in the uh, upcoming tutorials. It's going to be very useful if you have it there for you to manipulate manipulate yourself. So let's just comment this a little bit. So this gets the speed um, public and private members. And then accelerates the car. Okay, so if you don't have that already, like I said, go ahead and make it. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.